Hi. Can you guys hear me? Hi, hi. Um, just putting up my pen here. First time I'm doing this, so just don't judge me. It's all a learning curve. Shop nails. So I just wanted to... Oh, perfect. Thank you, Jess. So what am I doing? I wanted to start a little bit of a series. Um, <clears throat> the foes, lies, truths, craziness of uh, beginner nail tech. So I also wanted to talk about some of the brands that I found that helped me um, as I was um, getting comfortable with working with acrylic because acrylic for me has been my hardest thing in coming into working with nails but I definitely definitely want to have the opportunity to share what I've gotten bad gotten good um and gotten comfortable with so if I can share a little bit of what I have going on I can definitely feel like I help somebody you know um I know the trap use d10 Okay, so I don't know how to do the pin, but um, I'm gonna figure it out. For now, we're just gonna use uh, DD10 if you wanted to use anything. So um, I have a couple of my favorite colors from a brand that I use, and I kind of actually found, I stumbled across this brand because I was looking for something that masked the smell of monomer. So everyone knows you go to the shop, the shop has this particular smell and it's just that monomer smell, that heavy, heavy monomer smell. So I actually came across um, this brand because they have an, an odor eliminator monomer, which is phenomenal. And this it's double use because it could be used for um, when you're using doing nails and using monomer. It could also be used just because you love the scent. And they just dropped their Christmas. I literally just opened the package, so I'm just going to pull it out for you guys. Um, I literally just opened my package for their Christmas sale, and this one is Santa Claus, right? And it's a soy wax. Oop, oop, walk, walk, walk. It's um, a soy wax, and oh my God, I think it's, this is the one that has the peppermint smell. Yes, like peppermint, um, a little bit of a, a woodsy bark smell, birch kind of smell. And it really does take over so that this way for those people who are don't like to use um, monomer because of the smell, it really does work. And ever since I used that one time, they have some of their classic scents, which is um, Baby Mama. We're talking about the trap here. So we're going to talk about all the trap things related, right? So Baby Mama, Trap Queen, Trap Princess, I'm sorry. Energy. Energy is a good one for people like my sister um, who's on the live. Hi, Ty. Um, my sister is very much not like a sweet set type of person. Her, her style, her vibe is very um, boho chic, very zen, very crisp scent. So like your lavenders, your tea tree. Um, and she has pretty much everything that can accommodate every type of person. So um, that was good when I was looking for it because my husband has really, really bad senses. And then, you know, if you have little ones around, you want to make sure that you have something that doesn't get inside the brain all the way <laughs> um to, that's too strong so um i liked it for that and then i just got hooked on the colors the different things the uniqueness everything down to the branding is so cute so this color i just got this as well i um i'll, I'll see if i can do this one um as well but some of my favorite ones that i have used so far um i'm gonna just do a little swatch so this way you guys can see how it how it works um, even more so, um, I know that for me, uh, I had trouble finding the right consistency. If everyone knows, enthusiasts, nail techs, the consistency to your acrylic is key. After that, everything else will run smooth. So I found it very cool that whenever I use the consistency of this uh, particular brand, you know how sometimes you can get those little wonky white in, in between like it's like a weird marbling it doesn't happen and so if i can show other people some of the things like it's it's hit or miss and you know you're, you're spending a lot of money because <laughs> let's be honest monomer and acrylic is not cheap especially when it comes to certain brands you know and this i i'm all for it it's a sister brand female owned um 
And so I'm just going to do this is a little tricky. I can't see what I'm doing, but I'm going to do as best as I can and put it in the frame for you guys. But do you see how I just laid that down and I barely did anything and how smooth that is? Do you see that? No white marbling happening there. Um, and if you've worked with acrylic, you know what I mean. Like sometimes you get it and it's got that white line. And you're not getting that, you know, so I just wanted to show people that sometimes even if you're not you're working on it and you're trying to get better at it. I'm sorry. I'm completely out of frame. Um, and it has a little shimmer. Do you see that? Ooh, 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 gives me all the feels. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, thank you. Yeah. So I just I don't know if I found it easier. I, I was going to give up. Um, <laughs> trying to work on acrylic i was like you know what this is for the birds i'm not going to do acrylic acrylic is not for me i'll continue to do dip and that's it and i'll be happy um and then when i started using this one i was like you know what this is kind of easy to use and i like it i like everything about it um just like cmj just said like she says that she likes the packaging i fell for the packaging too i thought it was very ingenious how everything matched like I'm going to put this down for a second. I didn't, I know I didn't finish swatching it. This color, by the way, is called Runts. It's like a purpley, shimmery, um, almost fairy-like. See it? So pretty. Um, look at that. Even the monomer, I'm going to see if I can adjust this a little bit. Even the monomer, you know, syrup, you know, it's like everything was just cute. Everything was, you can definitely see that there was thought put behind this. Um, she's rebranding, so she made her one year. Woohoo! Shout out to you for one year, and I'm so glad that I was able to, you know, follow them for a, a long time, enough to the point where she was like, "Hey, do you want to be a brand ambassador?" I'm like, "Sure, why not?" You know, you definitely helped me when I was trying to find my footing with everything. So they have a top coat, and then you know, with acrylic, you want to make sure that you um, dehydrate and you do your nail primer. Um, I, I have a client that I've used the set with, um, this dehydrator and the nail primer with, and she usually typically because of her, um, nail bed, her nail beds are very oily. She usually can last about a week and a half. She actually went three weeks. So, you know, sometimes the proof is in the pudding and, and I'm can definitely, I'm not going to say something or try to do something or believe in something if I know that. I can't speak to it. So the next color I chose was spoiled. I didn't finish this one just because, I don't know. I like spoiled. Spoiled is the very first thing I purchased with my, um, sorry. It was the very first thing I purchased. See, again, you're not getting that white weird line, you know? I know I experienced that when I was trying to find a lot of different um, brands to work with to say, hey, is acrylic my thing? And unfortunately... I kept running across different brands, like big brands too. Like big brands I spent a lot of money on. Like if I would show you guys my bank account, you would be like, oh, why'd you spend that much? But you know, you live, you learn, you practice, um, and you figure it out. But I've used big brands where their white, their monomer had that like weird white line. And I'm like, this doesn't look right. I don't think this is what it's supposed to do. Um, but I didn't come across that with this. And so... I kept buying, <laughs> kept buying, leading into getting more comfortable and more comfortable, kept saying, OK, you know what? If I'm comfortable doing with this brand, let me try another brand again and see if it wasn't just me. But um, again, it's it's about trial and error. And I definitely can say that I appreciate the fact that I ran across this off of the simple fact. Let me say something about those IG algorithms. <laughs> Hi, questions. Thank you for joining. Thank you. For joining my madness people i love it i appreciate it um but i know there's a couple of us that you know have been dibbling dabbling in different things um so that was spoiled <clears throat> that very again i that very like nice shimmery pinky it's like almost white almost pink depending on the lighting that's spoiled this was my first purchase with the um, monomer eraser candle that I talked about. And my last recent purchase that I am in love, love, love with is Kehlani. Yes, Kehlani like the singer. And let me tell you something, it doesn't disappoint at all. It's, I don't know, I've just been into um, natural hues, but these two fairy ones, let me put this one with this one so you guys can see it. Can you see it? Okay, you can see the purple. 
and then you can see the pinky color i didn't swatch them perfect i wasn't aiming for perfect i just wanted you guys to see how smooth the um monomer because i'm using her monomer and i'm also using you know um when you're using a whole system and i'm sorry if i'm jumping around that's the way my brain works to know me is to know that my brain jumps around <laughs> um but yes I wanted you guys to see how the acrylic lays smooth. I wanted you to see how it doesn't have that weird, funky white line when you're applying the um, acrylic. Because I know, again, that's just annoying because then you feel like you have to try to catch up or, or apply more to accommodate for the fact that there's this white line when you're laying down the acrylic. Um, but yes, it, to use a whole system from start to finish is usually the best. So again, dehydrator. The nail primer, I'm going to put this all the way over here, and then I'll, I'll bring everything back again to the front. Um, so I'm just going to swatch Kehlani. Now, look at this color, and I just want you guys to watch the magic that happens with Kehlani. At least I, I thought it was kind of cool. Do you see that? Do you see that? Okay. This is like... I don't know if you've ever seen a foodie. Sorry, I'm just trying to move this over. If you've ever seen a foodie get excited about food, they do that little happy dance. And this is like so sheer, so pretty. Don't let the color deceive you. Do you see that? Oh, let me get a bigger, a bigger, a bigger bead to lay down for you guys. Oh my God, look how pretty. Yes. Okay. I apologize if you hear the kids in the background when they're supposed to be quiet. <laughs> it's Saturday night. Hey, it's Saturday night. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do this in frame. I apologize if I seem all over. I appreciate you guys for staying, all seven of you. Sorry, that's my bracelet and I should take that off, right? That would help, just a little bit. I'm gonna do a full swatch of Kehlani just cause she's so pretty. And I know that I'm not in frame, this is sucks. Okay, I'm trying guys. I'm good at laughing at myself, so it's okay. It's okay to make fun of me completely. Like girl, you ain't in frame. I'm trying. Thank you, Ray. Yes. Okay. Kehlani, right? Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So here's the thing about Kehlani. Look, 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 look. Do you see how pretty she is? The Kehlani is the color that I have. Do not listen. Do not be like me. Take care of your cuticles. Look at this. This is only a week old. Don't be like me. Take care of your cuticles. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Hi, welcome. So yeah, I just wanted to share some of my good, good finds. As a matter of fact, speaking of cuticle oil. So. <laughs> Izzy, I'm waiting for you. You're due. You're due for a refill. I'm going to do some acrylic. I didn't have it last time, but I'm going to do some acrylic on you. Um, and oh, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so this is the new um, rebranding for her, her her peach, right? And the peach is a new scent. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Do you guys see that? Do you see that? Yes. Okay. So the other scents that she has. <clears throat> And I need to restock because if I can tell you how many people are obsessed with tea tree. First of all, just look at the bottle. Okay. That just, I think that speaks volume all, all on its own. <laughs> right. But look, it's like little heaven inside of each of these little cuticle bottles. Okay. And then look, this is cake. Okay. They look crazy, but they're well-loved. Okay, people? Don't judge me. Look at that. Look at that. And then, yes, the pieces do come out when you're applying them. Um, remember, you don't have to be a nail tech to have cuticle oil. 
The cuticles love oil. That's how they live. That's how they survive. Look at all the prettiness. And this one's cotton candy. And can I say to match the, the title and the scent, it is what it is, you know? Um, so, and I know that, oh, there was another, some other scents for candles. What, oh, you want me to see the, okay. My brain's doing that thing again. So again, you guys can call me out on like, Denise, you, you started left and now you're right. It's okay. I probably did. That's all right. Um, so I'm going to swatch these two new colors, Grace and Marie. And I'm also going to see if I can show you guys some of the other scents that I got. She, she had three scents in the candles that dropped, and I just wanted to show that. And then I'll probably hop off. I just wanted to be able to, to hopefully this is a gem for somebody, sharing, um, being able to see something that, that they can try out, you know, and then they could use um, my code to get 10% off their purchase. And you know, at the end of the day, especially when you're trying to become familiar with different products, it helps to know that you can find something at a reasonable price. And it actually, it's of quality. I know that I've tried things that were expensive, that were crap, yes. And I know I've tried things that were cheap, that were crap. Um, but when you can get something that is reasonably priced and still be amazing and good quality, why the hell not? Just saying, just saying. All right, so this one is um, Grace. Ooh, it's like a party in here. Hey, what's up? Okay, let's swatch. Let's swatch and have the same experience and seeing how beautiful it is together. <laughs> oh, okay, I see you. I see what's happening here. What movie? Movie movie trivia. What movie? I see what's happening here. No? Okay, I'll leave that one alone. <laughs> I am quirky. To know me, to know is that I'm quirky. <laughs> I am in love. Yes, yes, okay, baby. Yes, honey. Yes, can you can I mix Kehlani and this one? Uh, yeah, we can do that. Okay, you about to make this a real live live. Okay, I can do that. Do you see that? I'm sorry, I'm like, listen, work with me, people. I'm trying, I'm trying, I swear I am, to make sure that I can stay in frame. This is harder than it looks. I give props to the people who do this on a daily because listen, listen. You know, no, you know, no. But I can say this is not the best swatch because I'm, if you guys can see the angle <laughs> of how I'm sitting right now, I have the tripod. And the phone on the tripod in between my legs. So I'm literally, <laughs> I'm literally doing this so you guys can see this. Okay, yeah, I will do that. But let me, let me, let me swatch Marie. Supposedly Marie is like her best seller. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, put that over there. Marie is her best seller. Um, ah, no, don't flip close it up because I'm also clumsy mm -hmm. I will be the one to forget that I didn't close it and everything spill it's happened a couple of times sad but true um and then this is Marie Marie is supposedly her best seller I think it's like the perfect cover blush pink um so yeah okay so Ray you said for me to mix Kehlani <laughs> right thank you Jess it is the worst you said to mix Kehlani and Grace. What do you, you want Grace up top or Grace on the bottom? Tell me. So we can make it look like an ombre now. Oh, you know what? That's what I get. I didn't bring any of my practice hands. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I don't have any of my practice hands. Dang it. I was, oh no, I lie. I do. I have my practice finger. 
Yes, I do. Okay, grace on top. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm thinking Grace and Marie. You guys still want Grace and Kalani? This is a horrible, I'm sorry, a horrible um, application. But I'm just going to get it on here so we can, we can see the beautiful color. Yeah. And even, I don't know if you noticed, for those of my people who are um, male enthusiasts and nail types, did you even see how, like, I put that second bead up top, right? And then when it connected to the other one, still no wonky or warpy lines that were there. Like, that is a, I don't know about you guys, a pet peeve of mine. Like, why? It's the blush for me. Of course. Yes. Yes. Okay, let me just finish this little top because it was it's a really pretty color. I can see why it's a number one seller, you know? It's good for anybody. A trap queen or a bougie queen. Hi, bougie, bougie. Oh my God, bougie. Now that I say bougie, you know what? I'm going to do you one better, Ray. You tell me. Hold on. I'm going to do you one better. Okay, so this is Marie. Hey. Welcome, welcome. Okay. I'm going to do you one better. I completely forgot. Bougie. Yes. She has the color bougie. Yes. Bougie. How dare I forget bougie? She's my favorite. Hello. Kehlani and bougie. Is that a yes, guys? Is that a yes? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Hold on. Let me open it up just so you guys can see. <laughs> let me just... Kaylani and Bougie, are we doing Kaylani and Bougie? Yes. <laughs> All right, where's my finger? Oh my God, I took my finger out. I don't know what I do with my finger. All right, it is what it is. We're going to roll with it, right? All right, let me open up Kaylani. Also, um, don't be like me, wear gloves. <laughs> wear gloves. Um... Because if, if anyone's been following and anyone knows, yes, I did stupidly. And I admit it. I take knowledge. You know, that's what I get for being excited. Mix it up, trap cream. <laughs> Flick the wrist. <laughs> Flick it a wrist. Um, we're going to do bougie. And then you guys are going to see why I say bougie and Kehlani together. Okay. Just, oh. Yes, honey, honey, it look good. This is beautiful. Yes, it's it's the sparkle for me, really. To be honest, I think I've used bougie so often that, yeah. I just almost dropped Kaylani, guys. I told you, I'm clumsy, clumsy. Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Yes, CMG. She's like, yes. Oh my God, guys, this is so. Okay. I'm getting at it. I'm getting at it. I'm like trying to be in frame, not in frame. So, yes. <clears throat> the conversation for this originally started with let's just have a chit and chat right about the good the bad the ugly of a beginner nail tech the things they don't kind of tell you to expect or the expectations you have and then you're like whoa this is not what i was thinking it to be wow and i'm not even done yet with the swatch guys um because again these videos make you think it's so much easier than what it is but if you find the right things on youtube university and ig university <laughs> you can find some really good people who can explain things for you or break it down or show you 
but acrylic was my foe for a while a big big while but what do you do you just practice what's the hardest thing for you you know what i mean now look at that guys oh yes honey yes okay i'm ready who's ready for me to do this i'll do it on myself if no one wants it izzy is it you is it you are is it gonna be you izzy i'm gonna leave this here because this was just yeah that was everything okay so we still want to do gracie do you want to do gracie and marie now let's do gracie and marie or you still want to see gracie and kehlani let me know let me get some hearts for Casey and, and Kelani. Love it, love it. It's me. It's me? Okay, so it's you. I got you. I got you on that one. Okay, so Marie and Gracie. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to have Marie on the bottom and I'm going to put Gracie on top. This, can we see this on the top of the screen? Uh, yeah, we can put it on the top of the screen. Okay. Again, thank you guys for staying with me. I appreciate it. You could be anywhere else in the world tonight and you're here with me. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Just trying to... So who else just sits there and just kind of does what I'm doing? Like just watch other people do it. Like it's has some sort of satisfaction just to see the application, whether you whether you're doing it or you're or you're, you're receiving it later at some point in time as the client. You know, it's so uh, so good. Can I say delicious? No, it's not delicious. It's just good. It's just awesome. Hey hey. I have people who are like mesmerized and they just asked me to swatch Marie, the brand owner joined guys, um, who asked me to swatch Marie and Gracie together. I just did Kehlani and Bougie. Yes, yes. Okay, so let me, <laughs> yeah, I could, I, I, I'm so there with you, Sam G. I'm so there. Okay. I can't, my angles are bad, so don't judge me on how my application is coming out right now, but you know. Mm, mm, mm. This is like an ice cream cone. Can you guys see it? Ah, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. I'm getting a little too hype. Let me slow down. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. It's the ice cream cone look for me, ladies. I don't know if there's a gent gentleman in here, but it's the ice cream cone for me. Yes. Like, oh, like a funfetti. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Again, don't judge my application. I literally have the phone in between my legs, legs with the um, tripod. Yes, whimsical. Oh, my goodness. I totally butchered it, but it's okay. Um, I just want you guys to see the, the contrast. Oh, my God, yes. Love it, love it. Mm. Okay, I do have some other colors from her. I don't know how, how long you guys want to watch me swatch, but again, the, the point is I just want you guys to see how smooth the application can be. I want you guys to be able to see, like, again, I mentioned this, um, Daj, I mentioned that, like, it was hard for me with applications for with acrylic because I'd never, even, like, big name acrylics, um, I'd always find that sometimes when you applied them, there was like a weird wonky white line or even if like I connected one bead to the next bead, the line would stay um, and consistency is important when it comes to um, applying 
uh, acrylic, but with even as I was learning to get comfortable with the acrylic, it, the consistency didn't matter because it always the bead will always come out um, in such a good way. Now nah, that's nice. Everyone's nice to get abstract because no straight lines. Perfect. It's true. 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 Yeah. Um, so yeah. Again, they're not perfectly swatched because of the positioning of. I, I'm going to get better at this. I promise. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys. So, Kehlani. This is spoiled, which is also another like cover pink color. Um, when you really, really apply it, it can get that pink, if that helps, right? And then we have Runts, which is a, um, a, it's also like a sparkly, can you see it? But it, it's, yeah, like it's shimmery, very pretty. It kind of blends in. Unfortunately, it washes out with the purple. I, I wasn't thinking. I left my green um, mattes. And then I just did a, I just did a combo swatch right here with um, Marie and Gracie. These are my two new colors. Not hers, but mine. Um, and then I did a color swatch combo with Bougie and Kehlani. And then this is just Gracie by itself. Right here. And then this is um, Marie. Marie is like a top seller, and I can see why. It's it's a really pretty covered pink and can pretty much be any background to anything that you're going to do if you're going to do it. Um, oh, I just broke that. That's okay. That's okay. I'll figure that out. I don't know my own strength. So I did everything today with, ooh, move that out the way, with her nail syrup, a.k.a. monomer. <laughs> right um sorry my i'm limited in the mobility so i apologize if it's all up in the face like that so look at that prescription on me i love it i love the whole packaging the whole idea like i said it's ingenious very like something people wouldn't think it's like very out the box you know um so again she just made her one year as a brand so whoop whoop yeah um, I gave away all my acrylic the day after I finished nail school. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Like, I can totally do gel. Like, it's weird because people, if you notice, my hands are two different things, right? So, mind you, the, the colors I have on um, are a mix between her and another brand. The stickers are hers from um, Shop Nails in a Trap. But this hand is always acrylic and this hand is always gel. These also are her um, transfer foils. The reason why I do that is because I need to stay abreast because if not, I'm not going to feel comfortable using acrylic at all, period, point blank. So my hands are always looking funky um, if you ever um, see them. But gel, so easy. This is My right hand is my dominant hand and my left hand is um, my least dominant hand, obviously. But I force myself to become apodestric so that this way I can do the gel on my right hand because gel is that easy for me. Um, so when I was like, okay, I need to understand how to do acrylic, I just forced myself. Now, I'm in nail school, and I have friends or colleagues or classmates that it just comes natural to them, you know? It, they are doing phenomenal work, and I, listen, when I grow up, I want to be like them because it's it's easy, but I'm pretty sure they probably feel the same way with gel, where it's like, oh my God, this is, what is this? Why is the consistency like this? How do you get it to stop moving? How do you... Um, control it and for me it was like a no-brainer so i get it like some things are going to come easy to some people and some things are not so what do you do you practice the thing that's the hardest for you you know what i mean um her two-step pre prep right is your dehydrator and your nail primer and then she has hate her not no, um, no white top coat which is what i'm using here so i i have shine from another brand and then I have top coat so it's always good to have a top coat that does you know after wear and tear don't judge it I was doing nails um still has some shine to it that's important you know especially if you're a client and you're in between appointments you want to make sure that you have something that still looks a little good and your nails don't look too bad so all right and then the last no, I said I was gonna show you guys candles, so um, this is the second to last thing. So the peach is a new scent. Um, I have tea tree, which is my client's number one scent. Um, 
cotton candy and cake. Cake is my favorite because I'm a baker. <laughs> Fun fact. Uh, <laughs> ah. All right. So Christmas scents right now are Santa Claus. This was a very um, pepperminty scent. Okay. And then the next scent. Oh, still Santa Claus. Give me a second. I'm going through them. Again, I literally have the box next to me. I'm just opening them. Okay, peppermint mocha. Ooh. But look at the branding. Look how pretty. Let me move this stuff out the way so I don't knock it over. Look how pretty. And they're soy based again, and they work double time. <sighs> okay. All right. So think of a Starbucks cup with your peppermint mocha. And that's literally what you, yeah, that's literally what it's going to smell like. And again, these are double time candles. You can have them because of the scent and how amazing they are. Um, but if you're a nail tech and you want to set the mood and you, you can't deal with the heavy smell of monomer, it's an odor eliminator for the monomer as well. And then, hopefully, let's see. The candle gods let me pick up the last, last seasonal scent. Did I? Nope. I did it again. It's okay. Again, I appreciate you guys being here with me, my quirkiness, my craziness, and watching this live. Okay, Jack Boy Frost is the last scent. Again, all soy-based, two-in-one. Mm, okay, this would be right up tie if you're still on. This is for you. This is perfectly for you because it's that, um, like a cedar, yeah, like a big, like a cedar scent, um, I apologize for the noise of the kids in the background. Um, like, I can't, cedar and like Christmas, pine, that's what it is. I was looking for the word. So it was like a cedar and pine scent. I know she still has some on the site, um, <laughs> but let me tell you something. This, her, her candles go fast, 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 fast. So if you are interested in getting them, um, she did have a pre-order. I got my pre-orders in, but I know that she still has some on the site, so try to get some if you can. Um, I do not know how to do a pin. So pardon me for being um, a novice to that. Um, I like the inclusive names, <laughs> right? Um, so I'm going to put it on my chat again. And oh, and I'm going to try it. Okay, so it's shop. I, I, I'm uh, attaching my... Uh, uh, code again so if you guys were interested in getting it they make Chris great Christmas gifts because they have no tie to them being like you know nails if you're not interested in, in, in the nails per se but you love you some candles because who doesn't and I know <gasps> today's candle day at Bath and Body Works everybody see where my brain goes don't make fun of me <laughs> um nails in the trap so grab some candles if you're interested. Um, I'm going to see if I can do this. Hold on. Is it post or is it pin? Or I'm not special enough to pin. Hold on. Nope, I can't pin. I can't pin. Okay, I don't know. But I'm going to put it in, in the comments again if anyone is interested. I don't know how to do the pin. I apologize. Um, anyone who knows, by all means give an old timer some heads up on how to use it but i just put it in the in the chat so you guys can see it but i appreciate everybody for spending the time with me and giving and actually um interacting with me I, it was kind of fun it was cool um creating these little um swatches our own little creations i love it i love it i appreciate you guys so if you want dm me um i have um another uh couple of ideas that i was thinking to go live with um, but if you guys have ideas and want to see something um, or have questions of nail enthusiast stuff or beginner nail tech stuff, I'm down. I'm, I like this. This was kind of cool. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Um, I will save this live. So if anyone does want to catch it again, um, 
or don't or I don't know or there was a particular something that you missed and you were like oh what was that again oh holiday bling yes okay so we'll do that I got a lot of cute holiday charms that came in um we about to do that thank you Zoboho um okay yeah 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 I appreciate you Dodge oh thank you thank you guys I love all the hugs the hearts I love it I love it all right, everyone, enjoy the rest of your evening. I don't want to take up too much of your time. And um, okay, I'll do this again. This was fun. Thank you. See you guys.